Hey, hey, Brian Sensei here. Are you the type of person who uses a lot of tabs in the internet browser? Do you have a lot of tabs open during the day and then have trouble keeping track of where everything is? Do you wish you had more room across the top of your browser to read all those tabs? Or do you wish you had a better way to organize your different sets of tabs? Well, in this video, I'm going to show you how to work with your tabs and how to use collections in the Edge browser. Let's check it out. Okay, so here I am in the Edge browser. And as you can see here, I have many tabs open and I can mouse over them and see what the name of the tab is. I can't really see the names of these tabs just by glancing up there at the top because I have so many open. It's just too crowded up there. So one of the things you can do when you have this many tabs open is you can come over here to the top left of the Edge browser and click the Tab Actions menu. When you do that, you can turn on vertical tabs. Boom. When you do this, your tabs now run down the left-hand side of the browser, and you can read the full name of each tab. So this makes it much easier to click into the right tab that you have open without spending a lot of time trying to figure out where is that tab that I had open. All right, and then when you're done using vertical tabs, you can always click right here in the tab actions menu and you can turn off vertical tabs. Another nice thing in here is the recently closed tabs. So if you wanted to quickly see tabs that you had closed recently, you can go ahead and click on that and basically see the history of the tabs that you had open. Okay, so let's now take a look at collections in the Edge browser. In order to get to collections, you're gonna click on this icon up here with the plus sign. And this is where you can start to create your collections and add web pages to them. Now, why would you use collections? This is great for when you are conducting research on the internet, you're working on a project, and you want to be able to store these related web pages and resources into a collection or folder. So I'm doing some research on the band Rush. I'll go ahead and create a collection here, and I'll call it Rush, and I'll save it. Okay, and we can see here we have our new collection created. So now as I'm browsing through and I'm doing my research, I've been finding some resources here. I came across their official web page and I would like to add this to my collection as a good resource to come back to. So I'm gonna come over here to my collections button and I'm going to click on my Rush collection here, add current page. And so now this page is added to my collection. Up here, I also found a great article about the band, and I would like to also save this to my collection. So as long as I'm viewing this page, I can open my collections and go ahead and add this to my Rush collection. So now I have two items in my collection. I also did a, an image search to find images of Rush posters, and so I also want to save this. I'll go ahead and come back to my collections and add it to my Rush collection. Okay, and so as I go and do more research, I can always come in here and add them. Then when I want to come back to these websites, I'll simply go into my collections. I will click on my title here, and this will open up all of my web pages. So now I can just, with one click, get right back to these web pages. Okay, so that is how you utilize vertical tabs and collections. I hope this video was helpful. Let me know what you think in the comments below. And if you would like a specific video tutorial created, please fill out the form in the description below. Otherwise, I'll see you on the next one.